in the previous video we have seen how to fetch the data on the post uh, from the firebase database and we have displayed it here in our react app here you can see all the two posts which is present in our firebase database has been displayed in our react app and also the other thing which i have added is like i have displayed the username here if i go back to my vs code here in the home.js file if you come near the logout button here previously this is only the logout button present now i have added one div and I have added some of the styles and along with the button pre before the button i have added this user dot display name because to make sure that uh, whether which user has logged in and uh, after this our next task is to display the form our captions here to display the captions first of all we need a small form that is one input uh, button or a input place and also one button to submit the form order to upload the form first thing is like uh, we need to create a form and uh, then we need to upload the comments in our firebase database now we'll just come back to our vs code here it should be written in the post.js file we'll come below this and inside this div itself we'll just create one in new form here and make sure that uh, this post a comment option should be enabled only for the users who have logged in so that first thing is like we should make sure that there is user logged in or not if there is user logged in then only he should have access to post a comment or else the user doesn't have access to post a comment now i'll just create a form here Here, I have created a new form here. If you see, I have created a form. I just made class name as post comment box for the in the app.css. I have added the styles regarding this class name. And below this, first thing is like I have created one input field here. And make sure that it is text, uh, the type is text. And the placeholders, uh, it's your wish. You can keep whatever you, can, you like. And for value, I have created a new use state here. To store in comment and like new comment and set new comment for now for by default i just keep it as blank by default um, it should be empty whenever the input field has been changed this value should be stored in the new comment and below this or besides this there should be one button to post a comment i just name the button name as post and it should be disabled whenever there is no new comment like if the new comment is blank or null this button should be disabled because whenever there is post then only the button should be enabled and the user can be able to post the comment if the post is and that is the comment is blank then the user cannot post the comment by default the type should be submit and whenever we click on this the post comment function should be enabled and here enable nothing but here i did still i didn't write any code here whenever we click on this button that is post button we should call the firebase database and we should store this database in the respective post id using this post id now quickly i'll just save it now if i go to this browser here uh, we got an error like use it is not different we'll just come back to our browser and in the react here you can import this use state here now i'll just save it now if i come back to browser here uh, we got an error like in the 10th line here okay here it should be like it is actually a function this prevent default is actually a function i'll just keep brackets beside it now if i come back to the browser here you can see this post comment form is enabled and here you can see this post box is disabled here if i type anything now this is enabled here you can see if i remove all these comments now this is disabled similarly for each and every post it works here by default this post button is disabled if i type anything here now you can see this post button is enabled in this way we have created a form now our next task is to call to complete this function here to complete this function first thing is like uh, we need to call this database and we'll just store in this post i'll just show you in my firebase database here 
if you see first of all this is nothing but the post id we'll refer to this post id and for example if i take this spiderman image if i post a comment under this spiderman image here this is the spiderman database and here we will refer to this uh, document id in this document id we will create a new collection named comments and in this comments we will just similarly store this all this data similar like this uh, the things which we will store is like first string is like a comment under a like a username who has commented because each and every user has access to post a comment right that is not like only the posted person that is posted owner should comment like each and every person can comment on the other post so that we make sure that we need to also store this username who have commented and also it's also good to store the timestamp in the database so that i'll just quickly come back to our vs code and below this i'll just uh, import all the database from this firebase and i'll just complete the code of updating these comments Okay, here if you see I have uh, imported this DB from this firebase.js file and I have uh, referred to this collection post and inside this post I will refer through the doc post ID which we have imported from the post like if I enter the comment here if I go to this here okay here firebase is not defined I uh, will quickly import this firebase uh, here. Okay, here you can see if I post a comment below this Spider-Man image, here the doc ID is nothing but the, that post ID and we'll refer to the post ID. Inside this, we'll create one collection named comments. If this collection is already present, it will append it or else it will create a new collection for us. And inside this uh, collection comments, we'll just add these three fields. The first one is like it is text that is a new comment and there is the username that is uh, here uh, that is nothing but the user who have uh, commented and I think here it should be this um, user dot username right yeah user dot display name it is good and the third thing is like timestamp this is the by default it is taken from the firebase and after this database is, has been updated this comment has been updated in the database we should make sure that this comment input form should be blank now I'll quickly save it. Now if I come back to our browser, in this React app, if I post a comment here, I'll just say make it as nice pick. If I post it here, okay, here we didn't still display these comments, but if I go back to this Firebase here, if I refresh or if I refresh it once, okay, here uh, in the post itself, the new collection has been added. I think here we have gotten something kind of error. We'll just come back to our VS code here. And if I come to our home.js, we'll just see here in the post and this ID should be correct, right? Here it should be post ID. And if I come back to the post, okay, here it is capital ID. Make sure that it is small ID. Similarly, if I come to our this database code, and here make sure that here it should be this small id here small d now i'll save it before that i'll come back to this and i'll delete this one okay now if i come back to my uh, react app here if i post a comment now like nice pick now if i click the post button now if i come back to my instagram clone and that is firebase now, if I open this uh, Spider-Man's post here in the comments, you can see that here in the comments, you can see the comment has been updated here. Here inside these comments, we have one document. Inside this document, we have the text and the timestamp and the username as we have updated in our code. In this way, if I try to post another comment here itself, like if I print like hello and I'll just post, if I come to this uh, Firebase, here you can see inside these comments, inside this post itself, you have two documents inside this comment and the other document is the post and or the comment which just now I have updated. This is hello and the timestamp and my username. Now, if I try it, if I just try it in another way, I'll just open one new 
private window here. And I'll make sure that I'll open localhost 3000. And now it asks to log in or register because uh, we haven't signed it. This is the private window, right? So I'll just register with my other email ID or password. Now I'll just click sign up here. Okay, if I'll click sign up, now you can see this, uh, this user has now able to log in or that is user has now able to add a new post here. Now if I come back on the Spider-Man post itself, if I click a like, uh, I'll just add a new comment like, hi and i click post here now if i come back to this uh, database here you can see this under document has been added and inside this document the username is the username who have added, added this comment who have post this comment and the comment is just hi in this way in the same post itself this these are all the comments document comments ids and inside this comment it is we have all the comments here in this way we can update these comments now our next task is like to display all the comments to, to display all the comments below this uh, caption. First of all, we'll just go to our VS code here. And now below this form here, we should display all the comments, right? Here, I'll just remove it. Now in, it is very simple. I'll just, uh, before that we should fetch all the comments uh, from our database set i think we have already fetched it or else first thing is that we use use effect here and we'll fetch all the comments from our database to do that uh, here below this i'll just use use effect and i'll just fetch all the data here okay here i have used the use effect it is similar to the post that is which we have done here here if you observe in the previous uh fetching all the posts here what we have done exactly this is the same thing here we have doing but in the previous uh, home.js we have done for post here this is for comments here uh, first of all we should check if there is post id exist or else it should return an error mostly the post id will exit uh, exist right so that if post id exist we'll just call this db inside this db we have post collection inside this we'll refer to the post id that is whether it is Spider-Man post or the Xpira post or anything, we'll refer to the post study. Inside this post study, we'll fetch the comments collection and make sure that this uh, comments should be ordered in, by, in the timestamp in the descending order. Let, that is the latest comment should be coming at the first. And after that, inside these comments, we'll loop through the each comment and we'll set, we'll just use an use effect here or uh, sorry, it is the use state actually. We'll make one use state and for comments and set comments. For now, I'll just make it as by default, it should be blank. Whenever we fetch this data, we'll just set all the comments and the comments should be like, uh, we'll just fetch the comment ID, that is doc.id, and the doc.data. Document.data consists of all the three fields, that is timestamp, username, that who have commented the comment. And the other thing is the comment text. This, all the three will be in this comment. And the id is the comment id this comment id is especially used uh, while we are mapping all the through the function here i'll just uh, come back to it whenever we have we are going to use it and after we set the comments we'll just call this function unsubscribe here and we'll just use all this use all these comments here here uh, we'll just loop through this i'll remove this now here if i come back I'll just call all these comments here. I'll just map through the fun map through it. And inside this, uh, there are two things that right? one is the ID and there is the comment. In the comment, we have like three things as I discussed it before. That is username, comment, text, and this timestamp. And I will just go through this, each and every comment. And I'll just make one paragraph here and make sure that don't forget to have a unique key for each and every comment i'll just make unique key as id this is where the id is mostly used and below this i'll just make one bold text and the bold text is nothing but the comment dot username 
and after that i'll just uh, make one blank space here to add a white space here that is the keyword called unpresent nbsp and after that we need one comment dot text that is main comment now i'll just save it before that make sure that uh, here it should be uh, this brackets instead of this floor brackets and now i'll just save it and also i have deleted all the previous comments here if you see in the spider-man post i have deleted all the comment collection that comment collection now if i go to the react tab here if i type like hi now if i click post here you can see i have sent hi now if i come back to this under account Raza account now here he is here you can see that hi has been updated now similarly here if i type nice pick now here if i post here you can see my name has been updated that is Raza name has been updated and the comment has been updated now i think uh, we don't need it in a timestamp so that what i will do is i'll just come back here i'll just comment out this order by timestamp i'll just comment it out now if i save it if i come back to this browser okay here you can see this uh if i post any comment hello okay here you can see that uh the next comment is displaying below this uh, previous comment in this way now it is looking good if you come to the database also here in the spider-man com this is field in the comment section here you can see there will be two three actually that is three comments one is the nice pick and the one is the hi uh, and the one is the something text here okay in this way we have displayed this comment okay our next task is like to display or that is to edit and to delete this all these comments and to update the post and also to delete the post okay all these tasks i will see in the next video thanks for watching we'll meet in the next video